allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands. Before I left Syria, things got worse and worse. There were bombs and shootings in front of my house and stuff, and it was really scary. Good morning, Mom. Since that day my mom arrived, I've had to jump into the role of a dad and a head of household. How well, you know? We put her in a private school to help her. Well, first, I didn't want to be in an all-girls Catholic school. I'm the only one that has my headscarf on. Honestly, I didn't really want to put it on. Hi, Baba. <laughs> In my religion, it's okay for the man to get married to two, three, four wives. But my husband decided to get married to another woman behind my back. He didn't ask me. I was really shocked when I found out my dad got married. Everyone wants to like have the perfect family with the parents together. <laughs> Love, it's not in my life anymore. For the past four years, I've blocked any association with like family, but lately, it's like coming back. <gasps> I see you, Dad! <laughs> my dad does not like it here at all. He doesn't feel his religion here. I belong to a more Muslim country. Los Angeles is a big city. It's too busy, too much rush. People are not free to visit with other people. My dad didn't want me to be here at all in the United States. He thought I would be such a bad girl. There's going to be boys there. It is very hard for me to have my children live in the United States. I was really concerned about her hijab. It would have been devastating for me. Had she taken it off? Presidential frontrunner Donald Trump is facing heavy criticism after calling for a, quote, total and complete ban on Muslims. I'm going to put this on for the weird people. Let's focus on your own makeup. I'm going to put this on for you. If I still lived in Syria, I would have been a completely different person. If I was born and raised here, I would have been a completely different person. I don't really think about my past anymore. I just live here now in the present.